Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda Quigley and I am on a weight loss journey and I have been participating in an eight week weight loss challenge to see who can lose the most body fat percentage and today is a weigh in day. But before we do that, here's a recap at the very last week of what we ate in our training. Okay, it's hard to believe that there's only 10 days left of this challenge. Today, there is only eight days left. We only have six days left until the final ending of this entire eight week challenge. Today is Monday, which means we only have uno, dos, tres, cuatro días left until we weigh in on Friday for our final weigh in day of this eight week challenge. A little sweet potato boat, like a zucchini boat, but different, with ground turkey and peppers and onions and garlic. And that is a hefty plate. And also, it tastes delicious. I made oatmeal power balls in there. So delicious, I could cry a tear. Cause I'm hungry and they're full of protein, healthy fats, and good carbs for me. Okay, so tomorrow is weigh-in day, which means we have finished this eight-week challenge. We did, for the most part, no dairy, no grains, no added sugars, oh, other, on, other than Friday. Fridays we would have our uh, day off where there would pretty much be no food rules. But I figured before we actually weigh in tomorrow and see all the results from the last eight weeks, I wanted to just answer the question, what is one thing that we learned about ourselves over the last eight weeks? Uh, do you want to start? I think the one thing that I learned is that I cannot, with my schedule, do intermittent fasting. No matter what schedule I have at work, I'm at work when the mm -hmm. fast breaks. In the first month, I lost 2.2% body mm -hmm. fat. And after doing the intermittent fasting for almost the whole second half of the challenge, I just realized like it's not it's not easy for me. Does that make sense? Does it just make sense at all? Pretty much what he learned is that he never ate while he was at work. He ends up eating basically two meals and a snack a day, one before work and then dinner when he gets home. But intermittent fasting wasn't ideal for him. And what he learned is that when he ate, when he would eat because he was so starving, it probably wasn't the best choices because yeah. It was like you have to eat whatever you can. I was um, like, I was bad. I was bad. I hid, I snuck snacks. Okay, hold on a second. We have to tell the story. <laughs> there was this like a whole week. This was like last week. There was a whole week where he was like, my stomach hurts. I don't feel good. I was like, are you like doing okay? Like, are you, are you eating okay? He also just kind of seemed discouraged. Like he seemed discouraged with his weight where he was. He seemed discouraged with his workouts. So I asked him, I was like, are you doing okay? And he was like, Honestly, I've eaten 700 cookies, 9,000 no, pieces of candy. You and liar. You can't every, do that to and me. And every pastry in the no. book. I had a, a little bit, a little bit of some stuff, but. Every day for a week. He didn't tell me. He didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody. I snuck it. It was a secret. That's how you, that's how you know <laughs> that you don't have a good relationship with food when you feel like you have to hide it. I felt bad. I mean, like, I hope he doesn't feel like he has to hide food for me that's never it wasn't hiding it from anybody i was trying to hide it from myself i i was being like too hard on myself with the intermittent fasting and like trying to make sure that i got it right mm -hmm. so like i couldn't make a decision by the end of it i just had to eat something i was so hungry learning more about what works for you and what doesn't mm -hmm. intermittent fasting didn't work for his schedule it worked really well for mine and i would eat from noon to 8 p.m and then fast the next day and I feel like it's done really well for me because it mm -hmm. naturally puts me in a caloric deficit and because I work out in the mornings, I work yeah. out fasted and then I'm able to burn um, more in my fasting state until I actually yeah. do eat. So that was really helpful. I think my one takeaway from this, the last eight weeks is I relearned that I really enjoy cooking at home. I got to play around with tons of new things, like a lot of things that I made for the first time. That were delicious. That were really good that I saved and I'll be able to replicate over however many, you know, over the rest of our lives, I guess. And then also just, I feel like my relationship with clean eating has gotten really good. I want to eat clean. It's easy to eat clean when it tastes good and I can make it taste good because there's so many options, endless options on what you can cook. So I'm excited to take that with me as we finish the year strong. We'll see you tomorrow for our weigh-in. <laughs> my results are in. 
I have done the in-body test again, which is the uh, body analysis. You can watch my week one weigh-in video to find out more information about it. But we can kind of review the overall score. I just sneeze. I just sneeze so bad. I just sneeze. I weighed in at 159, midpoint I weighed in at 154, and today I weighed in at 149.6, and if you've been following me since the beginning, I have never hit that number, and I was trying to break 4% body fat, lose 4% body fat, and break 149, and so I am ecstatic that I even did that because three weeks ago it literally didn't look possible. I started at 58.6 pounds of muscle, I've actually gained two pounds of muscle. It looks like I went up to three pounds and then I lost some as I lost more weight but not too much, and lost from 33.8% body fat to 27. I lost 6.8% body fat in eight weeks, which is like unbelievable, and I didn't change my eating more than what I've been doing, eating paleo-based really, other than implementing intermittent fasting and increasing my cardio, and then obviously no added sugar, no grains, no dairy, which is what eating paleo is. Um, but I stuck to that for the most part and I feel amazing and I am so excited about my results. The weight honestly is not even what matters at all. What really matters is that my body is changing. My love for fitness has been uh, re-sparked I guess. Like I'm really enjoying my workouts, really enjoying clean eating, loving how I'm cooking at home more. But now we're getting ready to go into the holidays and so next week I'm gonna do a what's next video now that the eight weeks are over but stay tuned because the last eight weeks I've been tracking scale victories and I think I want to have a non-scale goal to track next thank you so much for tuning in and for watching this journey it's been crazy this is not the end of our vlog channel we're gonna keep vlogging and sharing because making healthy choices is not a temporary thing so I've come a long way and I have a long way to go so thank you for tuning in and hit that subscribe buttons I upload a new video every week and hit that like button because it really supports this channel I'll see you next time. Bye.